Hello everybody, it's Malcolm Watson here coming live to you from Warfield in Berkshire in the UK on a nice sunny day, although a couple of days ago we had snow, so you can tell it's spring. I hope you've had a great week so far and thank you for joining me on my weekly Facebook Live. And today I want to talk about, do you know that all of us have qualities of leadership? But some of us don't know we have, and some of us don't show it. So today I'm going to show you six easy ways to recognise the leadership within you. Um, like I said, each and every person has leadership qualities, um, and we can lead in different ways. Uh, it's a bit like selling. People say, oh, I'm not a seller, and then you say, well, you know, did you propose to your wife? Did you... Um, ask somebody for something that's all selling and it's the same with leadership we all have uh, skills but we don't always realize we have them so what do leaders have well the first thing they have is they inspire leaders need to inspire you because if you're not inspired you're not going to follow anybody are you so they they take risks in the way they think uh, they're more likely to succeed they explore different possibilities and one of the things you always need to do is explore and follow your curiosity because if you don't look at that you won't know you will never know it's the old thing if you don't try you won't know and it's the same with curiosity if, if you've got a gut feeling about something just maybe follow it through and you'll be surprised that uh, with ideas when you've got enthusiasm with them that people will follow you and people will say hey that's a good idea tell me more so that's the first thing. They inspire you. You want to be, if you think of anyone, my heroes, your heroes, they inspired people. They, they, without having to say, follow me, you follow them. And that's what you need to do. So inspire. The next thing is to be able to focus and to focus on your team, on other people, not on yourself. A great leader, a great um person who you want to follow doesn't think about themselves all the time they think about other people I often you know think about the people like I don't know Barack Obama he was always speaking to other people he was always saying hi how are you what are you doing and you might say okay but that's self-interest it doesn't matter people feel good if you make them feel good People feel good if you make them feel good. And if you make people feel good, they'll follow you. It's really good. It can be difficult sometimes not to think about yourself and what you need to do. But if you think about other people, I think it was Zig Ziglar who said, if you help other people, you help yourself. And that's exactly what you want to do. Because you want to focus on what you can offer people. Because that's what they're interested in. Remember when people look at your business, they look at you, they're actually thinking, what's in it for me? And if you can expire, inspire them, not expire them, <laughs> inspire them, that's a, something different. If you can inspire them, if you can focus on them, if, if you can just look at them and, and listen, that's a great skill is to listen. Remember, you should listen at least twice as much as you talk. And great leaders can do that. They can make you feel important. And in the same way, the next thing is respect. You, can, you can't be a good leader if you don't respect other people who may have different views from you. I, I love the um, Jim Rowan thing that when he either disagrees or whatever, he always uses the term, that's interesting. And that makes people think, isn't it? And it also makes, and it's true, that you're thinking about what they've said. So... You, you may find people have different opinions from you, but remember there's no I in team. Uh, great leaders are surrounded by people who inspire them, who push them, who support them, who help them and so on. But they need those other people and you can be that person if you show respect to others. The people that I've come across uh, who have been in charge of me, if you like, and haven't respected me, haven't got my respect either. And I've left that uh, very quickly or not been engaged with those people. Respect is something you earn. It's not something that you can just say, you know, respect me. It's the same whether you're a parent, whether you lead a business or whatever. Respect is earned. 
And you'll never get anywhere if you don't have respect for other people. The next attribute is making a commitment to success. You want to follow people who are successful. You want to follow people who, can, who you can say, I can do that. He may be better than me or she may be better than me at the moment, but I can do that. I can see what they're doing. I can see what they mean. And that's really, really important. Leadership starts with believing in people, believing in your business, believing that you have a vision for success. These are the things that people are interested in. They, they want to be inspired by you. And if you have a commitment to success, that will inspire people. That vision will be communicated. It rubs off on other people. And once something rubs off on other people, you start to get a community. You start to get a team. You start to get a group of people who will work with you, who want to support you. And remember that a, a vision breeds success amongst other people as well. If you say, look, I can do it, you can do it. The next thing is to be understanding. Now, we talked about respect. We've talked about inspiring people, but you need to be understanding. Um, not everybody works at the same pace. Not every, it's something I've had to, to learn. Not the fact that I, I'm way ahead of everyone else, but I have my own way of doing things. And so does everybody else. And because someone does something different from you, doesn't mean it's wrong. It just means it's different. So remember, if people don't meet your expectations initially, don't give up on them. Think about yourself. There are times when you've been learning things and it's taken you longer than other people. And there are times when you've learned things and it's been easy for you. But remember, give people a chance to find out. Everyone has that different learning curve and it's really important. And the thing you need to remember is the slow starters, maybe they will become your greatest asset, your greatest workers. Lots of people, including myself, were not that good at school. Lots of people who have done really well in business were not that good at school, but they developed. They were slow developers. People, there used to be exams, didn't there, like the 11 plus and so on back in the day. And people who failed that were written off in those days. But now it's more comprehensive. It's more Catholic. It's more engaging. People realise that people, other people learn at different times. So remember that. And the final thing, which is really, really important, is accept your limitations, accept your mistakes. It takes a strong person to admit they're wrong. It takes a strong person to admit they're wrong. And we all make mistakes. And that's the great thing. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. We're imperfect models being developed all our lives, just like everybody else. And when people see that you can say, oh, you're right. Sorry, I was wrong there. They, it makes them feel good because you've admitted it. But it also makes them respect you because they know you are like them. You are like everybody else. We all make mistakes. And that's how we learn. If you don't try, you don't make mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, you don't learn. So you've got to learn. You know, lots of people give the example, don't they, of a child learning to walk. They fall over, they fall over. They don't, they don't then crawl the rest of their life and say, that's it for me. I'm not getting up. They just keep on trying. They keep on trying. Why do children always ask the question, why? When you say so, it can be annoying, but they want to find out. And you must remember that, that people respect you for understanding that you too make mistakes. So my six ways of becoming a better leader are inspiring people. You need to be an inspiration. You need to have enthusiasm. You need to focus. If you don't focus on what the job and on people, you won't get anywhere. You need to have respect for other people and earn it for yourself. You need to commit for success. You need to understand that everybody le learns at different times and they may have different opinions from you, but it doesn't mean they're wrong. And you need to accept your flaws and your mistakes and people will like you more for that. People like vulnerable people. They don't like smart Alex.
and it's really important that. So if you wish to have a successful career and you wish to have successful personal life and relationships, enhance these skills, enhance these skills in yourself and sooner or later you will find your personal life, your business life uh, becomes better. Everyone has the opportunity to display leadership skills. Everyone at times is led and everyone at times leads. Remember when to lead and when to follow. You follow and you learn and you lead and you pass it on. That's what life is about. You need to be ready. You need to recognise the skills you have and you need to use them. Now, that's it for today. I hope it's been helpful for you. If you find it of use, please do uh, share it with other people, share it with your team, share it with your friends. I'd be very grateful. I do appreciate your time, your understanding, your support and your help in so many ways. I couldn't do anything. I wouldn't do this if you weren't interested and help me and show your interest and show your support. So thank you very much indeed. I hope you can join me same time next week. Uh, I'm here, 12.30 British summer time, 13.30 Central European time. And I hope you can join me. And also remember, I do my one minute motivation every Monday. So check it on that on my Facebook page as well. So until then, look after yourself, stay safe. Uh, look after those who are important to you and those you love and help everybody you can. Malcolm Watson, one for one goal, saying thank you and speak again soon.